ASX to crash as oil skyrockets. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because it looks like the ASX is predicted to crash as oil skyrockets. Let's jump over here. We can see just the red in the entire global market. The Aussie dollar is at 73 cents. Gold is at 1998. Peter Schiff is celebrating at the moment. Bitcoin is lagging at $37,000. Not not doing too well. The Australian stock market is down from yesterday, and we'll have to see how it goes today. Crude oil is at $119, and you've got Brent crude is at $123, with some predicting it will hit $200. Yes. So let's, let's look at this article from Yahoo Finance, everyone. Great way to start the day. So... The local market is expected to fall at the open after Wall Street tumbled overnight. This comes after ASX energy shares skyrocketed yesterday on talks of a US-led ban on Russian oil imports. Meanwhile, boycotts of other commodities from the same regime pushed the Australian dollar higher. US stocks extended decline overnight and oil prices soared as investors nervously considered the potential for even higher inflation and greater global economic damage from Russia's war in Ukraine and sanctions that have ensued. And we're starting to see how, well, in some ways, this could be a boost for the Australian economy, everyone. Bitcoin has taken a dive overnight, hitting a low of US 37, 220, uh, 266 this morning. The crypto lost its momentum over the weekend and was starting to show resistance to uncertainty over the Ukraine crisis. We'll have to see. I mean, is Bitcoin a safe haven? This is the real test where the flight to safety is. I've got another video <laughs> coming out today. Here in Australia, how some are arguing that property is our safe haven here in Australia, and that's where people will go. What do you reckon? Oil could jump as high as 200 a barrel if the US and Europe ban imports of Russian oil. Oil prices surged as much as 18% in wild overnight trading, with Brent crude last quoted at $128.06 and US crude at $124.66. That jump, which follows a 21% surge in Brent crude last week, will be costly for consumers and pose a threat to the global economic growth. Now, the hope is the Aussie dollar going up will offset some of that increased cost for all of the goods that we import. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it will. Seven categories of key goods have been identified as being important to Australia's national interest. As uh, thoughts turn towards supply chain issues during the pandemic and global conflict, the federal government is focused on shoring up the supply of semiconductors, agricultural chemicals, water treatment chemicals, telecommunication equipment, plastics, pharmaceuticals, and personal protective equipment to ensure Australia's economic security. Well, this could be interesting to see. We've got a shift from a global economy to a more uh, local economy. But you've got to remember... Everyone is a globalist at the checkout, okay? Everyone wants the cheapest deal. Everyone wants the best bargain. So if government is going to incentivize uh, manufacturing here in Australia, they've got to step out of the way. We need to have special economic regions where we would remove some of the onerous burdens on businesses to start and to operate, remove the taxes, change the labor hire laws, make it easier to hire and fire people, give workers flexibility with how much of their money is put into super maybe allow them to you know rather than have to pick five percent of their super for a few years can go off their mortgage some innovations to incentivize people wouldn't that be great <laughs> it's australia florian what are you saying <clears throat> so election promises teachers will be better equipped to talk to students about respect and relationship under a 77 million plan proposed by labor an Albanese government, well, bloody hell, would partner with state and territory governments and the school system to deliver consistent, high-quality, respectful relationship programs with the intent of preventing violence and improve child safety. Now, I just think back to the bullshit programs we had to do when I was a kid at school. Okay, this, this stuff is never new, guys. We, now, just the millennials... We're turning into the boomers, pushing this crap on kids, adding more rubbish to the curriculum without focusing on the core requirements. This is the thing. They keep, everyone has a pet project. They add it to the education curriculum. They don't take anything out. 
So now you've got so much crap in there and our education outcomes are declining because people don't have time. Or you've got seven hours of homework every night. So wheat discovery. A new Australian technology could help provide more wheat to the world as the climate warms, okay? The research estimates new wheat could be sown at up to twice the depth of current variants and access moisture deep in the soil, concluding it could boost yields by around 20%. Now think about that. Think about this. Just there. This is a, probably a fantastic thing to end on. You've got all these people who, are, who believe we're gonna, we've got a catastrophic end to the world. You've got climate change. We've only got months left. We need to tax people because that will save the world. Okay? It's bullshit. That it's, it's almost like a religion. It, I argue it is. It's a cult. They've got their own end times. They've got their own prophets. It's, it's a religion. Here's a solution to an issue that's being faced. The climate impacts that are occurring on the world are a slow-moving disaster. We're a technologically advanced species. Humanity will adapt. It'll be okay. Just, you know, calm down, people. Calm bloody well down. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these videos down below. And, well, I've got a few interesting ones for you to come up later today. Take care. Have a great day. If you want to support the channel, there are a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Self Wealth or Stake and use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or Aussie Broadband. Take care, guys. And I'll point you towards a recent video about the housing affordability election. Take care and I'll see you later. That's it. I'm out of coffee.